She remained calm even though her plane was running on empty. I don't know if I have enough gas. The tower tried to reassure Helen everything would be fine. You look good. I don't feel good. No, you're doing good. It's a hell of a place to be. You know, but it sounds like you're doing great. Helen's son was also in the tower. Mom, this is Jim. You understand there's another plane coming up and you're going to follow on in, right? Yes, I do. Moments later, that other plane arrived. The pilot started giving Helen flying lessons. I don't think I can circle again. Okay, do you have the landing gear down, Helen? Yes, I do. Despite the life and death drama, Helen even cracked a joke when the pilot told police to close the road next to the runway. Close the road, over. What do you mean by close the road? Uh, I'm talking to the people on the ground, Helen. Don't you have any faith in me? I do. I don't trust the drivers on the, on the road. And with that, they headed in for a landing. That was a couple good practice sessions. Now we should be good on this one. I hope so. The plane bounced a time or two, but Helen walked away with minor injuries. Her son couldn't believe it. I already had lost my dad. I was thinking I was pretty sure I was going to lose my mom. But she did it. She did land that plane. And what a great job she wow. did. We are also learning more about Helen's husband, who died shortly before that miracle landing. And to many people, John Collins was also a hero. He was known for his good deeds. John and Helen Collins took off from Marco Island Airport in Florida Monday night. They were on their way to Wisconsin, but seven minutes before landing, John died at the controls. That forced his wife to take over. She wanted to live. She did not want to go down with him. The deceased pilot often spent time flying patients with medical needs across the country. Years ago, he flew James and Regina's Webb son home after he was given just days to live. It was the most meaningful thing. For the Webbs, John was the miracle who gave them final moments with their son. Today, the miracle is John's wife, Helen. Have her experience this without collapsing herself is pretty remarkable. Unbelievable. The Lord was with her. Hmm. Absolutely. Now, Helen is recovering from minor injuries to her spine and a cracked rib. But every time we see this and hear about hmm. this, thinking about her landing that plane with her dead husband by her side. Unbelievable. What a great job they both did.